So when we are injecting this medication, we're typically injecting from here to here. So we are taking, we're talking about 0.01 to 0.02 cc. So it's exact, it's extremely small amount. So, so what we do is that we would, this is in a child, and typically ch the child could be moving constantly. They're they're usually. Uh, you know, they usually are not very happy, as you can imagine. And so we would actually have to, with the forcep, we would actually have to hold on to the eyeball firmly. Okay? And then, so now still the child is moving. Remember, the head is moving. So we stabilize, you have to stabilize the head. And then we would have to inject the medication here. Now, it is extremely important not to move because remember, the child is moving during this time. And you really don't have the luxury of moving your index finger at this point and <laughs> trying to inject like this and injecting the exact 0.02 cc. You don't have that luxury because the child is actually moving. And if this needle went in too deep, it can actually cause, you can actually injure other structures in the eye and and can cause a disaster and of course it can lead to blindness so how, how much is speed uh, crucial then this, this is extremely quick you have to do it extremely quickly because a child is moving mm -hmm. continuously right so we don't have a lot of time so so what we would what we typically have to do is that we would have to hold and then inject and then we would have the assistant inject for me very small amount just like that but but usually when they're pushing, go ahead and push again, go ahead and pull, go ahead and pull, and pull, okay? So when they're, go ahead, I want you to push small amount, small amount. So I cannot control exactly how much he injects. You see? That sounds like a problem. That is a big problem. I cannot control how much, he just injected too much. That was, that would have been this disaster. So what I typically have to do is that I would have to put in the exact amount, like right there, okay? And then I would have to hold on to the eyeball and tell the system, go and inject for me, please. And, and, and usually when they're injecting, Doc, I do not know if I inject it or not. I can't feel it because he just, you could tell you right there, he just barely moved his hand. And as he's doing this, I, I have to hold on to the eyeball very firmly. So I cannot watch exactly what he's doing. So even if I had a third hand, it'd be, this would be very difficult. Very, very difficult. So typically, most physicians, what they would do is that they would hold like this and then move their index finger very slowly and inject and then pull out. Now, this whole process can be, uh, you know, it's gotta be done very quickly before the child before you lose the control. Now, same thing goes for aspiration. Sometimes we would have to actually go in and, and aspirate a small amount. And that aspiration is almost impossible to do with just one hand. So I would ask, ask the assistant to pull small amount. Pull small amount, stop. But then, again, I don't have control over how much he aspirates. Wow. You see the dilemma? Oh yeah. This is what we are doing right now. So, this is where we invented the syringe. Um, so this one actually is a little bit different than the, the traditional syringe. It's got a little bevel, ring bevel, that helps you to control so that the, your finger doesn't accidentally slip. And then it's got a plunger that's attached to another bar like this with a finger rest and with a groove that's situated right there. So here, what we do is that I would grab onto the eyeball. And remember, the child is moving, so I would actually stabilize the eyeball, inject, and I would inject the exact amount that's needed because I can actually control it better because my fingers are in close proximity. I'm not extending any of the muscles. So I can control the exact amount. Or 
if you don't, you don't want to inject the exact amount, what you could do is that you could actually preset it to exactly where you want to inject it, and then inject, push, pull out. You see how easy that is? And also, let's say you have to aspirate the amount of, a certain amount of fluid from the eye, same thing. Again, you hold onto the eyeball, child is moving, you just inject, and you aspirate the exact amount that you want, just like I did, I just did now, and you pull out. So this makes the procedure a lot quicker, safer, and more precise.